Hey right. guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome back to Muscovy in Europe Universalized 4. Today we are going to be taking over Poland. And uh, Austria is going to come basically do it for us. So let's get our guys grouped up over here. And we can start moving in, probably. And the the goal is this guy here. We're gonna we're basically just trying to take the eastern half of Poland, pretty much. Um, we're not gonna be able to get much from Lithuania, but we will be able to make use of some of these claims at least. Thank God. All right. So uh, ooh, who's this? Kiev. I wonder why there's is there no Ukraine? No. Okay. Well, okay. So Lithuania came. Poland came. Austria came. Austria kill kill sick them, Austria. And so we are facing 77, 24, 43. So they, they have a little bit more artillery, but we have way more infantry. Um, and speaking of artillery, I think we'll go ahead and I'll build a, I'll make a template for uh, artillery. Because we could probably use that. Probably use 20 stack of artillery. RTs here. Alright, so I'm going to make that over here in Muscovy. Alright, actually, well, once those guys group up, we're going to probably want them to move. No, let's have them move this way now. Because we kind of, we want to have all of our units together just in case Poland decides to, like, bum rush us over here. Alright, they're going to come over and attack us. Uh, I'll wait till they get uh, confirmed. No, okay. I should have waited till they got confirmed and then I could have turned around, but I was waiting. I was uh, concerned that we were going to get locked into moving away as well. Um, I should probably also just turn on my forts. I'm just going to go turn on all forts. Just to make it absolute hell for them to like try to move through my land and siege stuff. So if we can get a couple months ticks on those garrisons, that'd be great. We've got a 30 stack heading for us. They're going to go where? They're going to probably go attack Kursk. So let's move in. Alright, they're locked, so we're going to battle. Now, are we going to get there first? No, I think they got there on August 1st. It's fine. We will get there with superior numbers, and that will be the last of them. How do we. Look at that. We have better morale. Hooray! Go morale. Alright, let's move in here. Oh good, are we gonna are we gonna squish that stack? That's nice. Alright, so our cores got extended too, which is great. Um I'm gonna go ahead and just retreat half this army to there so that it can easily, you know, go back and forth. And we're also going to send this guy to well, let's see, what do we find? Do we find anybody colonizing? No. Damn. So let's uh let's go look for something else. North America, sounds good. Okay, and then you, sir. Where are you? Where's my guy over here? Oh, damn. He's going far. That's good, I guess. And then when our cannons all start rolling in, it'll be a little easier to get them all together and into these armies. Alright, and I'm going to retreat the 17 over here as well. Actually, let's go up there, because there's more room. Alright, and so, how is Poland over here? Oh, Hungary is fighting us? What? They said Hungary said they weren't going to come. Oh, that's hilarious. If Austria gets raped, I don't care either. So, I mean, by the time Austria is, like, you know, kick, kick, kicks the bucket and leaves the war, it'll be too late for Lithuania, at least. And then with Lithuania out of the way, you know, who cares? Uh, yeah, fuck you, Poland. Alright, so I'm going to send half the cannons to each siege. Wow, Austria sucks. 
<laughs> they got Rick. They got just like Rickarunied somewhere. <laughs> and there's a Poland stack in France too. Idiots. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like to see this thing. The Siege of Palatska is done. Great. All right, let's go over here to Vilnius. It's their capital, too. That'll make them suck. They'll be like, no, stop. Ow, it hurts. Mommy. Okay, we're gonna send some dudes over there, and then these cannons are gonna follow these guys over here. While these guys keep doing the siege. Okay, we can tech up our Diplo. I think I'm gonna leave that, though. I want to make sure I have enough Diplo points to peace out. If we're about to cap or something, then I'll spend the Diplo, but in the meantime, I'm not going to. Yeah, so those armies can all group up. Let's find more artillery for the siege. We have to be careful of Poland over here, but I think they've all decided that... Uh, they are going to be focusing on attacking. Is Kiev a fort? Kiev is not a fort. Their next fort is Bratslav. So let's go over here to this one, the Guardianess. Guard Gorditas. Cheesy Gorditas Crunch. And now would also be a good time to, like, the, th the only reason why I am hesitant to westernize would be because I don't want, you know, these Chinese people westernizing off me. So, that would be bad. At least it would make it more challenging over here. Keeping them stupid is nice. And so if they don't have a western border, they can't. They can't they're they just perpetually stuck being stupid. And this is really bothering me that there's, like, nothing over here. What is this guy doing? Oh, there he goes. But, like, this is really bothering me that there's nobody colonizing Canada. There could easily be a Russian Canada. We got Minsk. Minsk. Let's go grab Kiev. So, yeah, it looks like they're just forsaking uh, Lithuania, which is good news for me. Vilnius just finished, so we can move on to that guy. We can also go to Memel, too. Alright, we're gonna pause while we select this guy, another thing to explore. <sighs> How are our call? Oh, we got a colonist free. See, is there any place over here with, like, really low? Yeah, let's go ahead and start colonizing over here. Kill. Alright, so the only thing we kind of have to watch out for is for, you know, Lithuania coming over here to just wipe all these stacks, but... I think we'll be okay. Pretty sure Lithuania's army is all over standing here in Austria. How's Austria's enthusiasm? They're getting pretty war exhausted, so I wouldn't be surprised if they started to falter. But it looks like Austria is doing a good, okay job holding their own. They still have an army, so they haven't, you know, completely lost. Poland is just sending endless reinforcements. Good, whatever. <laughs> Burn your manpower, damn it. Be gone. Alright, we got a 12 stack heading down here. They're like, ooh, looky. All these free armies to kill. It's like, no, no, no. By the time you get here, we're gonna have consolidated. 
And one of my other big armies over here is done almost, so let me send the nine this way. Oh no. And our dude died. Now we have this idiot. Oh, actually. Shit. This guy's a genius. Do we kill our king? Oh no, our heir died. Thank God. Whew. Okay, good. Good news. Today was a good day. How's our tradition, by the way? 60 still? Alright. This guy does have siege. That's nice. Alright, let's make a... Uh... This guy's not bad, but I, I could roll better. He's kind of average. Yeah, he's exactly average. So let's see if we can't uh, get him killed as well. I just wanted to see what we got. Looks like they both kind of suck. That's okay. They're going to run a Minsk. Alright. Are they locked into that? No. Okay, they are locked now. I'll put our I'll put him there just to, for the sake of having a general. Oh, Gordita's finished. Are they not going to make it there? Oh, they're not going to make it in time. Jesus. Oh, our king, our czar died. Oh, well. Maybe we'll get a good regency. Alright, so we're going to get there on October 20th. He's going to get there on October 12th. Alright, you've made a terrible mistake, Lithuania. That was way not enough troops. Actually, we're gonna go siege Crimea after that. Let's go explore the coast or whatever. See if we can find any evidence of colonization. Jeez. That'd be hilarious if like Spain and them just like they just died randomly. Like they just decided not to colonize because the AI derped. Oh, poor Denmark. Just got wiped right there. Oh well. How is uh, Lithuania doing? Lithuania has no manpower. They got still got 40k though. So we will get rid of that shortly. We almost have them 100% sieged. Good. Is that is that all this over here? No, there's still one colony going in there. Okay. Alright, and we're going to move this army closer to the target province. Alright, and we'll have those guys help siege uh, Crimea. Wow, all the mercenaries would be pretty cheap. 
Let's go ahead and buy those and just have them, because I need, I want them. Just to make it 100% obvious that we're gonna, that we're gonna win any, any engagements. Once, uh, once Austria decides to conk out on us. Which is fine, they did their job. I mean, look at this, look at this, we have a uh, freaking Lithuania, which is half of the enemy. <laughs> freaking sieged up already, almost 100%. Right, we got a 34 heading for us in Rowan. All right, so let me grab these Mercenaries. All right, we're gonna head over here. Okay, they changed their mind. Uh, we can probably take this 15 stack down here as well. Kind of just want to focus on finishing off Lithuania right now. There's a 51 stack over here, that's not good. Could be better. Alright, we can white piece Hungary though, and Hungary is how many of these units? How much of this how much of this force is Hungary? Like ten thousand? Can I offer like Austria? <laughs> It's fine. I'll, I'll white piece hungry. What about France? Hungry's ready though. Good. So that that army there lo loses a little bit of luster now. <sighs> That's really good. And then Lithuania is, you know, going to be one set behind him, one step behind him. Hungary wasn't even supposed to be in this fucking war. I don't know why they're here. Oh my god, why? Do it, bitch. <laughs> Alright, they're locked in, so we can, we can send in all these guys. And we'll send Boris too. With his zero one two. God damn, he's a good. S All right. Uh. I want a male heir. That's fine. Poland, Lithuania, get wrecked. Alright, so uh, Lithuania is almost 100% siege, so we'll be able to piece them out soon. Excellent. Score that biatch. We're not really losing too much money, so let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, there's a, there's a Holland colony over here. Did Holland get ousted? Oh, they're about to. Alright, alright. Did we start our thing over here yet? Nope. Okay, we'll send another dude. We'll send two colonists. Wait, were they super, like, aggressive over here? No. It's only 500, so we should be fine. So, yeah, I mean, my main thing is I want to get, like, a tentacle to go from here to uh, the province in Poland that we're supposed to take. Because why not? All right, good, good little Norway. Killing that army for us. Okay, there's an exiled stack over here heading for us. Whoop. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One base tax, that sucks. The people feel good, though. 
So that's good. Alright, so the only place he's going to be forced to go is here. Which is good. That'll be the last of Lithuania. And then once now... Oh, we had a Stockholm Revolt. Interesting. Probably should have anticipated that and defeated it sooner. Uh, why are you not going? Unfortunately, we probably will lose this battle now because our other army wasn't ready to be right there. No, 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 we got it. Okay. Goody, 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 goody. Uh... So, basically... Uh, so now, this is basically, we get to tr choose now which what we want. So, uh, do you want to do trade? I guess we'll do a tr well, let's let them live in peace, and then we'll get a better chance of them becoming part of us. Because I don't want them to always be, you know, forever. Yeah, so I, I think that's going to be the easiest for our, like, laissez-faire sort of colonization. I don't want to have to babysit it all the time. Right, let's explore North America more. Good, we got our little Russian colony. But yeah, that's really weird to see such a non-colonized northern, like, Canada area. Usually, like, oh, well, I guess because France and stuff is dead. France would be the one who would colonize that, and Great Britain maybe? But why? I don't understand why. Great Britain might be just wrapped up with, you know, stuff here and stuff. And then, well, you can see Spanish Brazil, but... Still, my god. Alright, what are they? Are they attacking us over here? <sighs> Oh, good. Uh, so, is that... This is Lithuania, right? Okay, so they're, they're almost 100% sieged. So we're going to take a lot of land from... We're going to take a lot of land from them. Alright, they're locked. Do we want to get a different general? Okay. The answer is yes. Alright, a one four is okay. He's at least a two star, you know? Alright, so they're gonna they're gonna throw themselves on us here. The last of this is the entirety of the Polish army, by the way. And we are gonna lose if not for our reinforcements. So good thing I got those extra dudes, isn't it? Oh fuck, France, no, go away. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, so... With that, I think it's our cue to leave. Alright, so hopefully we can siege this up quickly. Let's see about uh, Lithuania, though. Lithuania. Can I get 100% peace out of you? Probably. Yeah, so this is what we need. This is what I want. Alright, fine. I'll just take the money. And the four provinces. What about France, by the way? You ready for white peace, dude? No? They're fine. Oh, and Austria. Austria's still in the war. Oh my god. But we still have our little tentacle. Oh, those guys must have gotten in... Oh, that's weird. We better not get squished. There we go. Alright. So we can all retreat now. But yeah, we have our little penis inside Lithuania now, and we've cut them in half, pretty much. And we can core all this stuff, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay for it right now because, you know, there might be 
a better time to do that. All right. So I think I'm going to let Poland, hopefully they'll refocus on Austria. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in to uh, kill those rebels over here. Let's build all of our mercenaries. Uh, yeah, I'll pay for it. That's fine. <sighs> so Poland just standing there in the target province. That's fine. All right, so we'll take all of our mercenaries and just head over there, kill Sweden, then come back. They're still at minus 21% because I guess Stockholm was a pretty dank fort. Level 2. I'm gonna grab all these transports. I'll just collect them up like over here. This fort is gonna be a pain in the balls for them to. Well, they're at least gonna have to, you know, deal with it. How many uh, Swedish are there? 16? Okay. So let's take the rest of these mercs as well. Exploration finished. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will start coring them, obviously, before, you know, we go to start taking Poland, land, Polish land, so. How's France feeling? Ready for peace, buddy? Alright. The situation is becoming ever more dire over there against those uh, the 16 rebels, so probably want to hasten. Our speed over there. Okay. So once those guys get matched up... Do we get 20? No, we didn't make 20 transports yet. Alright, I'm going to give them the the uh, the good general. Three siege. God, he is like a prodigy. Alright, and we're going to move in and just kill those rebels. Hopefully the, uh, the crossing won't be too much of a hassle. Anyways, it uh, looks like Poland it was doing like I thought. They're kind of going to un-siege stuff. Can we walk over here? Like, can I walk to Memel from... There? Yes, I can. Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to take our real troops down to Bratislav. And hopefully avoid any French intervention the next time we fight the Polish. Alright, if we are lucky enough, we might be able to not have to worry about... Oh, let's get a royal marriage with... If we're lucky enough, we might not have to worry about uh, those rebel. They might we might be able to get there in time to stop them from sieging. That'd be nice. I'm gonna go to five speed just because we're kind of just chilling now. Now that Lithuania is out of the picture, we kind of got our head on. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna run that guy the hell back over here. We're gonna go take the war target. And we'll use our Boris, because he's got a two siege. Alright, and I think it's pretty safe to go ahead and core this stuff. I just don't want it to get occupied, you know, and waste our time coring. Alright, we're going to do the coast of the Chesapeake. Looks pretty abandoned to me, which is really weird. I think I saw a Papal State colony. Did they take exploration? 
No. It might have been Sienna then. Nope, no expansion. <laughs> I wonder who it is then. I mean, it's possible, like, Hable State or somebody took a peace deal. It could be Indians as well, so probably Indians, I would assume now, that I'm thinking about it more. Anyways, that's going to about do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, I hope you join me for the epic conclusion to this uh, war against the Poles. All right, I'll see you then. Spray and pray out.